Hello everyone. We're going to go through the Final Fantasy X uh, bonus fights for the Master Crowns and we're going to do it with a budget team. So if, essentially we're going to use just either 7 stars or NVA units. Uh, gear wise it's going to be free stuff, their own trust, super uh, staying away from anything hard to get pretty much just to make it easy. Uh, it's going to be really easy to build better units than what I have set up here. So first up we're going to hit up the Sin fight. So he's weak to wind. Also, Fury Race. So we have Beatrix up first as our magic cover. She's starting in shift form. We're just using her shift. So she has 100% draw attack. So that's the plushie, the charm, and so cute it's criminal. And then we just gave her a bunch of spirit. Didn't really worry about uh, elemental resist. Did give her discernment though. We do need status immunity. She's got auto shell for a little bit of auto buffing. Card is something that was just free pulls when you pull neo vision and overall we can probably do it without the card but and Bart's is our wind buffer so he's starting in base to autofill his limit and then he's just gonna shift so shift form we give him some attacks some killers so he has 100 fairy killer and Gilgamesh, ignoring base form completely. And just some attack and a tiny bit of killers for him. Whole 75% killer there. He's mostly there to break and uh, help in peril wind, really. Star player Titus, EX3 is pretty much the carry for this. So I ended up with a ton of them. I ended up with EX3 and an EX0 Titus. I jet would probably work too i don't have ex3 jet to test but i've seen a lot of both ex3 titus and jet plus we're not limited to final fantasy 10 so any huge finisher can fill the slot really and his gear is easy the uh, sword we got from the mana thing for free essentially and just attack killers a little bit of limit damage so 300 fairy 250 limit on titus and Elena, just using base form, attack magic, a little bit of killer. So we got 300 Fury on her. Alright, let's jump into the fight. Alright, uh, first turn. Beatrix, passive... Provoke, so we just need to magic cover and saintly protection. Warrior Light Farts is going to shift. We're going to limit burst. That's going to give us 280 attack magic and wind and view. Gilgamesh is going to break. We're going to imperil wind a little bit more and just replenish his mana. It doesn't really matter there. Do a little bit of damage. All right, so Titus, turn one. We're going to Blitz Mania. And double click hit plus. And Elena is going to Aurora. Piercing Prism and Blade of Salvation. So let them chain do some damage. 9%, it's not bad. Alright, so for our second turn, Beatrix. We're going to Saintly Protection again, and then just Kiraga to heal herself. Now Bartz, we need to boost wind damage for everybody. And then we'll just double Mira. Gilgamesh is just going to re-break and double Mira. And then Titus is going to triple quick hit plus, and Elena triple blade of salvation so we're gonna hit the front two first we're gonna wait cast so that the wind boost gets on the back two all right so down to 69 right, so now we have titus's limit so beatrix turn three we're going to double sr elena is going to double SR chain with. And Bartz is going to triple Mira. And Gilgamesh is going to triple Mira. 
And we're going to have Titus, Limit Burst, and should finish him off. So we're going to start SR Chains first, then Titus, then Mira. Alright, there we go. So obviously we relied on Titus, the Limit Burst carried most of that, I mean it was about 60% of the damage at least, but we did get all missions because that was a 3 turn kill there. And overall, doing a better team than this should be incredibly easy. Okay, next up we're going to hit the Sphere Morph, mainly because it's still a fairy base. So this time it is weak to light damage. So we changed out Bart's for Sylvie for uh, light and view. Rest of the team is actually the same. Just we got Sylvie. We gave her some attack. Again, all easy to get free stuff essentially. So she's got 100 fairy killer. Probably won't matter too much. But she's the only change in the team. Alright, so let's jump into this fight. Alright, pretty much the same thing. We're going to start off with Beatrix doing Magic Cover and Saintly Protection. We're going to have Sylvie. We need to Light and Bue everybody. We need to buff everybody. And let's see. She's going to give herself some uh, mirror chaining moves. Gilgamesh is going to break in peril. And mirror chain. Just deal a little bit of damage there. Alright, so Titus. Again, we're going to Blitz Mania and double into Quick Hit while Elena. Does Aurora, Piercing Prism, and Crystal Refraction. Light based, we're doing light damage. Might as well get the extra uh, light and peril. So let them chain. Turn to Beatrix again. We're going to Saintly Protection and then Kiraga to heal herself. We're going to have Sylvie. Mirror Chain. Gilgamesh is going to Mirror Chain. Titus is going to Triple Quick Hit for Bolting. And Elena. Triple Blade of Salvation. So we're going to do the front two first just to build the chain because. They're not doing as much damage, and then the back two to add in. Alright, brought it down to 62. Alright, so we got Titus's Limit Burst, so pretty much going to be the same thing as the first fight. Where we're going to double SR Chain with Beatrix and Elena. Triple Mira with Sylvie and Gilgamesh. And Limit Burst with Titus. So SR Chain is first, then Titus, then Mira Chains. There we go. Another turn three kill. So again, we had Titus 
Limit Burst pretty much carry most of the damage, but pretty much any high Limit Burst finisher can definitely replace them, seeing we're not limited to Final Fantasy X only. Okay, for the last fight, it's Defender Z. Machine, 50% weak to Lightning and Water. We're going to be doing uh, Lightning. So, we also need Physical Cover instead of Magic Cover, so we swapped Beatrix for Gladius. Base form, some health, some defense. All lower end, easy to get stuff. Shift, we give him some attack. So, he's going to chain on turn 3. So you got 75 Machine Killer from the Esper. Sylvie, we swapped out Spirit Killer for Machine Killer. So 100 Machine for her. We change Gilgamesh for Queen, just because I kind of like Queen and we're doing Lightning based damage against the Machine. So easy to get stuff. She's using a double hand sword. So, 300 machine, 220 limit damage for her. There are a couple of 5 star base TMs, but, or supers and everything. But it's lower end stuff overall, nothing Neo Vision base yet. Again, Titus. Limit focus mainly with the machine killers. Two seventy-five machine, two ninety limit for him here. And Elena just kind of changed out her killers a little bit. So one fifty machine for her. All right, let's jump in. All right, turn one, Gladius. We're going to Razor Shield and Blink. Sylvie. We need to triple, so we're going to Lightning and Bew. We're going to Marry and Watch Over Me for buffs for everybody. And then she needs to give herself a chain, so that's going to be Here's a Present for her Physical Bolting. The other three will set up and have them kind of chain a little bit. So Queen, we're going to Mana Charge. We're going to Martyr, and we're going to Bolt Thrust. Titus is going to Blitz, and double on the Quick Hit. Actually, I believe... 280 buff. So, let's do that instead. So, yeah, we'll have Titus Aces, just for a slightly better attack, and then double Quick Hit. And Elena... Way of the Aurora, Piercing, and Blade. Alright, turn two. Gladius is going to do the same thing, just because his Razor Shield is only a one-turn cover, which is fine. Now, Sylvie... We can triple bolting. Queen is going to triple bolt thrust. Titus is going to triple quick hit plus. And Elena. Triple blade of salvation. Gladius turn three, we're gonna shift and he's gonna triple bolting. Sylvie's gonna be his chaining partner. Queen is going to limit burst, Titus is going to limit burst, and Elena is going to bolting. So triple blade there. So we're gonna hit Sylvie, Gladius, Titus, and then Queen and Elena.
there we go. Now that did kind of rely on Queen and Titus being EX3, but we used all low end gear, so definitely easily to replace them. And then again, Queen had her shards in the EX shop and there was pretty much enough to buy the EX3 here. So yeah, Titus came out on top on that one. Mostly because he gets the extra limit damage, I think. But there we go. That's all three of the Final Fantasy X bonus challenges for the Master Crowns using pretty much no Neo Vision based units, just NVA units, and pretty much lesser end gear. I mean, we do have to rely on the EX3 limit bursts to be able to do it with the lesser gear. But if you have more gear, it's definitely easier to do it. Alright, so we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.